Hi, I'm Jim with Thin Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Third Power Kitchen Sink. The Third Power Kitchen Sink Amplifier Head, finished here in black. Third Power's flagship do-it-all amplifier, the Kitchen Sink possesses the heart and soul of three legendary vintage amplifier voices, AC, American, and Plexi. With modern features like blendable clean channel voices from American to AC and anywhere in between, additional preamp crunch on the gain channel, all tube spring reverb, and foot switchable hybrid master, giving you the ultimate control on your volume from rhythm to leads. This amazing amplifier works great anywhere, from home practice to the studio to the biggest stages. The kitchen sink is a 40 watt class AB amplifier, which features a complement of two EL34 power tubes, five 12AX7 preamp tubes, two 12AX7 LPS preamp tubes, and in the head format, weighs in at 29 pounds. The kitchen sink is also available and is a 112 combo. From left to right on the front panel, you'll find the power switch, standby switch, the hybrid master foot switch knob, output level hybrid master control, presence, reverb, three band EQ for the British gain channel, volume control for the British gain channel, gain boost switch, gain control for the British gain channel, and then bass and treble controls for the clean channel, top boost toggle switch, American and AC voicing blend knob, volume control for the clean channel, channel select toggle, and finally, the quarter inch instrument input jack. Now we'll visit the back panel from left to right. First off, we have three TRS jacks to control all of the switching functions this amp has to offer. A jack for channel switching, a jack for gain boost control, and a jack for lead boost. Next up, we have the send and return jacks for the effects loop. Then we have dual four ohm speaker outs, which can do a single four or dual eight ohm loads. Dual eight ohm outs, which can do a single eight or dual 16s and finally, a 16 ohm output. Finally, we have the fuse and the AC power input. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we are back after the lengthy technical specs because this amp is, well, like the title says, it does pretty much everything you could hope an amp could do. It's got each of the big three food groups contained in it, uh, a beautiful plexi sound, an AC sound, and an American clean sound. So let's try to set up a little bit from each one. Just a quick note before we begin how we're recording today. I have the aux set up, uh, and we're going to listen through that, and then we're going to listen to a little bit of this uh, third power cab with vintage 30s. Uh, with Mike's with 57, and this amp was referenced uh, through Vintage 30, so uh, the manufacturer recommends running it through there, but we have a really nice sound going through the aux, and I'm also going to be playing a little bit on the Paul for some overdriven sounds. So, let's get into it. At the beginning of the video, I had a, you know, your standard American clean sound set up. This blend switch goes between a, uh, the AC sound and the American sound. I had it all the way uh, to the American side. Pretty much the EQ is set at noon. The reverb on the amp uh, at noon. So let's give it a listen here. Here's in the neck. Neck in the middle. Here's the middle. Here's the middle and the bridge. Here's the bridge. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this channel is described as a clean slash edge channel, so you can get uh, this channel to break up. I actually have it kind of on the edge of breakup right now. I can bring the volume down a slight bit, and you can see where I have the output level. You know, if this hybrid master is all the way to the right, it's totally out of the circuit, and you have the full power of the amp. I'm just knocking it back just a hair. Um, this amp is 40 watts, but when this is out of the circuit, even at these volume settings, you know, the volume around 10 or 11 o'clock uh, through this 212 in the room, quite loud. So let's get super clean for a minute. Here's the uh, middle and the bridge. Okay, so let's bring the volume back up a little bit and let's blend in the AC. We're gonna go just 50-50 and I have the, the top boost switch uh, disengaged, just set to normal now. So here's 50-50 blend. So you can hear we're introducing a little bit of that AC chime in there. It's barking a little bit when I really dig in. Got it right on the edge of breakup, which is like kind of where I like to keep it. And really responsive to the picking dynamics. All right, now let's try to get a nice AC sound. We're gonna go all the way to the left. We're gonna put the top boost on. Let's see what we got. This is in the neck. You hear that top boost gives a little more gain and a little more hair. Now I have uh, an Al Capi stand from Strymon in the loop, so I'm gonna engage that and we're gonna listen. Here it is back in the middle and the bridge. So that certainly gets us there. Uh, let's listen to the bridge a little bit. Now, how you can hear, I'm, I'm breaking up a good bit. So let's take the uh, output level down just a hair, and let's try to gain this out a little bit. So that's the AC gained out. And bring that volume back a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
And it's nice because you have the reverb, which really fills out the sound. And of course, there were no reverb on those AC amps. So let's go back to 5050. And let's keep it gained out. See where we're at. Just back in the bridge. Now let's go to the American side. Keep it gained out. Let's see where we're at here. Back in the neck. So a less drive here. back. Okay, now we're going to kick it over to the Paul and let's listen to some overdrive sounds. Okay, now we're back and we are on channel two, which is the British Drive channel. And I have this set up for you know, kind of a classic plexi-ish sound, not super gained up. Um, I'll roll the gain back a little bit. And this channel has two voices. There's a higher gain voice, which kind of is more modern, you know, for more of a, a metal sound. It's more compressed. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's hear it. And I'm manipulating a foot switch back here. I don't have it on the ground. This is a three button foot switch that allows you to go between channels one and two. The second button allows you to engage the second uh, gain function in this channel. And the third button actually uh, allows you to take the hybrid master out. So you can use this little knob here and you can set it and use it as a boost. So uh, when you engage that, it goes to this setting. So you can have your hybrid master maybe set here and then have this boost setting. So it's, uh, it almost acts like a third channel, but it's, it's in, in fact more functionally like a boost. So here we go on the British Drive channel in the bridge. So again, nice to have the reverb on there. You know, uh, certainly that wasn't available on any of those famous uh, British amps. We can't say the name of. Um, but let's kick the gain up a little more. You can definitely get more gain out of this amp than you could out of that famous circuit. So here we go. So let's kick it over to the gain plus stage. 
Uh, keep the settings about the same. Here we go. <laughs> So let's listen to a little delay, kick back in. Now, I'm quickly going to let you hear the cab with a 57 on it. So I'm going to put earplugs in because we are going to crank this thing up. Gun muffs, baby. That's right. All right. Speaker volume up. Here we go. We're going to keep it on the gain plus set. Ah, you know what? Let's listen to both. Here is just the regular gain setting. Here we go. Gain plus. Scoop those mids out a little bit. That'll just about do it. That is the kitchen sink from Third Power.